On the road, yeah, back again, and... Uh, ah. <laughs> Alright, compose yourself. Um, this is huge, massive. It's ground number 100 for the On The Road series. And when I was thinking about this and where we could possibly go, you know, you think about the Anfields, the St. James's Park, the Old Traffords, pop up to Scotland, see Celtic or Rangers, dive into Spain with Real Madrid, Germany, Borussia Dortmund. There's so many iconic grounds out there that I still haven't been to, but at the same time, people have such high opinions on some of these clubs. Rival fans. Why'd you go there for ground 100? Should've gone here. So I picked somewhere where, quite frankly, the majority of people wouldn't mind. And actually, it's a real classy touch because today I'm off to Sheffield. You've done Sheffield Wednesday. So Sheffield United then? No. Today I'm off to name Sheffield FC. They're the world's first ever football club, meaning they were founded in 1857. Well, they Cambridge University will have something to say about that. Pipe down, posh boys. This isn't your time. Anyway, they currently find themselves in the Northern Premier League East Division, which is eight tiers down from the Premier League, step four of non-league. And ironically, they don't play in Sheffield, just outside. It's the Tufnell's home of football stadium, which has a total capacity of 2,089, 250 of which are seated, but absolutely not heated. All right, so I've been behind this yellow van for what seems an eternity now, but you're turning right into Gray's Afsol Stadium, but it's not a stadium anymore. It's a housing estate. My local football team that I grew up watching still don't have a home. Go on, get in there. Because right about now, we're going to head down here to the eighth wonder of the world. It's the width restriction that nobody wants to go through, quite clearly, because there's nobody down here right now. Only the bravest of brave brave this. Every day, people want to take the shortcut through Gray's, and every day they bottle it. Nah, nah, I don't want to go down there. The width restriction's that way, innit? I, oh, it's too narrow. I have to do peasants in my hometown. And whilst we wait for this red light, should we do it? Yeah. It's the top comments of the week. Come to Zach, the best way to start a week is seeing Smith post on Twitter that a new on the road is going up tonight. Keep it up, Smith. Nice one, Zach. Yeah, sometimes YouTube's a funny one. Videos go missing and get buried. So yeah, make sure you follow me on Twitter because everything I post does go on there. Jacob got in touch after I asked you guys to uh, send me your club legends. And Jacob here is obviously a South End fan because he's mentioned Freddie Eastwood. Obviously scored that free kick against Man United in the Carling Cup. And yeah, South End have a 100% win rate against Man United. That's a fact. And another fact is Freddie Eastwood actually came from, we've already mentioned them, it's my locals, Gray's Athletic. We are massive. Finally, the top, top, top comment of the week wasn't predictable at all, was it? Uh, this is big Smith, my friend. Would have been easy just to enjoy the football yourself. So as someone who will probably never see Tilbury FC play at home. Thanks for taking us along. You guys. So as Beyonce gives us the green light, we get to go through this beautiful piece of thing. Look at us. We're just brave. We go through it. No need to be scared. Big shout to EN13DVC on the other side. A fellow brave soldier waiting to go through the width restriction that nobody wants to go through the other way. Anyway, moments later, we pull into the complex, which is only notable to one individual. Nobody else matters. Maybe his missus. And the cats. Don't forget the cats. Hello. Hello. Starting route to Sheffield FC. Three hours, let's go. But before we do, we need to get tanked up at the Morrison's pump. Someone sent me a load of money to buy a new car so I don't have to keep pumping out diesel. Today's full tank costs. Oh, it's normally more than that. Need some other bits as usual, Charlie's getting a coffee. I actually do this to annoy you guys, I'm so sorry, but it's a, it's a prawn mayo sandwich. And as months and months go by, they still haven't got the sour cream and onion Pringles in a small version. And so once again, we're gonna get the big ones, also helping them clear the Christmas stock. Jesus. Charlie made a mess, so he's tagging us up, OTR. With the addition of some water, I've just spent £68.95 on everything, ever. I had a few of those in my day. <laughs> Let's go Sheffield, but not Sheffield. Derbyshire, I think. And first leg of the journey is the big bad boy in 25. Obviously, .com forward slash Let's go. It's a lovely day, by the way. Blue sky, couple of clouds. But Charlie tells me the further north we get, it's going to get colder. It's going to get cloudy. It's probably most likely going to rain too. That'll be all right. Let's take the M1. We're actually making really good time. It's been very chilled as we sit behind water here, which means we have enough time to stop off in the services. Normally, if you're running late, I'd hold Charlie hostage and say that he's got to piss himself. But today, we're fine. Off you go. And just like that, we're back on the road. Yet back again as we enter Northamptonshire, where I'm a big fan, huge fan, massive fan of these. And just as we see a sign for Sheffield, which we're not going to exactly, it rains. It, it, it does. So Satius Navius has just told us to take this exit. And then this one. Oh my God, it's crap up here. Really crap. On our left, we've got a very helpful sign that says there's 531 spaces available in a car park in Chesterfield. I actually thought Chesterfield was a lot further than this. So if this is local to here, then uh, yeah, I'll be going soon. Don't you worry. But as the rain continues and we go down this hill, Sheffield SC is on our right. I actually had to do a little UE, but left into here we go where this white van's leaving. Why are you leaving, mate? There's, you've got a football game on. And as we pull into the car park, not many cars, I have to say. But it's non-leg. Attenders might not be that high. And everyone, they might be just local and have walked in. But walked in the rain? Surely not. Actually, no, they're proper hard up north, aren't they? Us southern fairies, we just don't understand. Not quite sure what's going on here, but if it classes as evidence for a missing person, I'm happy to uh, submit that. It's not a problem. You never know, he's not got Charlie just discovered. Amazing. He is well happy of himself. Anyway, about a bit not very busy, this is probably why. That is some goal mouth. Has it been postponed? Because there's no one here. There's literally no one here. Check Twitter. Game off. <laughs> yep, game off. Just travelled three hours and this was put up at 10 to 2. Bit late, lads. I mean, we've been in this situation before, but never this close to kickoff. Where was it? Stansted. Ah! Stansted. But we found another game, didn't we? Yeah. Where could we find...
Found another game, didn't we? Just five minutes around the corner. Today, we're off to name Drumfield Town. We were founded in 1998. They currently find themselves in the Northern Counties East League, Division 1, which I think, don't quote me, I think it's step six of non-league, 10 down from the Premier League. I think it's the lowest we've ever been. The ground we're visiting today is Stone Low Playing Fields, which has a capacity of 500, only 80 of which are seated. I really had high hopes for on the road 100, but hey, who am I to write this lot off? I already know it's not going to be 20 stars. We know that. But we might unearth an individual gem within this place. Who, well, what will it be? You don't know yet. As we park up on this residential street, we take the two minute walk to the ground. We've got queues for a non league game. Love it. Get this right. Just paid a fiver to get in. Bargain. And I grabbed a raffle ticket and all. That's another pound. No turnstile here, though. No click, 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 click. But today's lucky number is 55. First stop, men's. Where well, if you want to clean up, cupboards there if you want to do it yourself. Not really. Just whack a bit of toilet cleaner in here. That'll do. Next up, back outside to see what's going on here. A mini pitch for the kids on the left and a big pitch for the men just at the back. On this little stand here, must be where the 80 seats are. Time to queue for where? The snack bar. The attempt to brighten the place up is there. They're trying. And just like that, we've got two teams and a load of mascots on their way out. It's Drumfield Town in the red. Hallam FC are in the yellow. And what a kit that is, by the way. It's literally the same template as the 1986 Spurs shirt. And being a Spurs fan, I very much appreciate this. So off they go, and I'm surprised not one person has slipped over on the concrete. It must have happened before. It must have. You know right, mate? Maybe. As we continue to queue, the game has now kicked off. Whilst we queue, I get a good look at the food menu and drinks menu. 50p for an ice lolly. But wait. <laughs> That's one new to Hallam in the yellow. They're top of the league, by the way. Anyway, front of the queue. What are we ordering? Uh, chili con carne, please. Tell him. <laughs> this is great banter. No chili con carne. I grabbed a pie and a bovril and a cheesy chips to share. And that all came to the outstanding price of £5.50. And holding all of that was never going to work. So we found a table in the pissing rain as we knock all of this back. Lovely. I'm told the right way to eat your pie is actually upside down. And I tell you what, it actually works. Right, I'm cold. I don't have a hat. Let's go and find a hat. Currently find myself in a mini clubhouse where I can see some Drumfield Town merchandise. Consider paying 13 quid for a bath sheet. That might help. I'll stick with the bobble out. Hand picked by Kathy as well. Thank you so much, my dear. This could be a bit warmer. Just spent £10 on a hat. Also keeping us warm today is the bovril as well. Yeah, should I bring you some football? Football? Yep. Interesting ground, this one. Very small shelter just there. A couple of benches over the other side. You can't get around there, though. Three-sided ground. There's actually more action going on in this pitch at the moment. But what I would say is the flag girth's quite decent for this gaff. I was expecting chipolatas for days. I've not found a chipolata. It's a halfway line flag. Fascinating stuff, it has to be said. Why are they even there? We don't need them. I think it probably dates back to the olden days. It's voluntary now. Kind of just signals where the halfway line is, but we've got that. Maybe it's bearings for the referee. I don't know. As this cross slash shot goes bouncing over, it hits the shelter. It actually comes bouncing and rolls towards us. And uh, the big reveal is, well, should this be a mitre? Anyone that gets hit by it today is, is, is going to suffer big time. What is it? It's a mitre. It's actually so cold up here today that the uh, the bottle's not keeping me warm. Oh, wait. Hallam for two. Oh. Well, it could have been Hallam for two, but it wasn't. Talking about Hallam, not as old as Sheffield FC, which was our intended place today, but three years younger. 1860. One of the originals. And they do have the world's oldest football ground. So that's certainly something. Oh, referee. It's him. Anyway, penalty to Hallam. Now it could be two. Yeah, Charlie's got a point, slight faint on the penalty, but still giving either way. 2-0. I'm freezing. Where are the Drumfield Town gloves? I mean, right about now, this could be threes. It could be fours. As he edited that back from a corner. It could even be fives as this one rolls past the post. As I go to grab another swig of my bovril. Look who's got one back. Missed it, but 2-1. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Should have laid out more like this, man. Game on. Oh yes, game on. Oh, and then half time. It's, um, yeah. It's been alright. Oh no. Oh no. Can you hear the despair in my voice? We've got to go and get another bovril. So it's past the non-existent hand sanitizer. Probably in that cupboard in the toilet. But it's into the mini clubhouse we go where we're going to order. Actually, turn up for the books. Hot chocolate. Same cup though. One pound. Let's get warm. Keep finding these big wagon wheel tables. I feel very VIP at non-league. These are actually something else. I think they're like a farming thing. I, I, I've been Googling for ages and I can't find it. So if anyone wants to explain what these are, actually, let me know. Jog me memory because he don't know either. Would you look at that? Dog at the football. Which leads us beautifully into this second half. 2-1, all to play for, let's go. My friends, it's time to take this hot chocolate and get closer to the action. It's football at three, shifting the warehouse at five. Gotta love a welly. So we have absolutely got closer to the action, haven't we? Right behind a goal, good save. I actually chose this end because I predicted that most of the action will be down here. Whilst wearing my Drumfield Town hat, I am actually amongst the Hallam fans. Come on, Drumfield Town represent. Yeah, what shift do you want tonight? Oh, 12 hours for me. How about you? No, oh, just the eight for me. You lucky bastard. I was going to do a compilation of how many times this keeper grabs a drink. It was literally off the charts. I don't know if he's thirsty. I think it just might be habit. Well, the ball's not down here. I don't know what to do. Maybe take a swig. Davey has just plucked a banana out of his pocket. And he joins the hundreds of people that have come down to Stone Low playing fields today. I actually do think a lot of these people are neutral after the Sheffield game was cancelled. But Drumfield Town. Make money, money, make money, money, money. Hello, we got a flag. That's all I got to say. And then look, the ball's in the back of the net. <laughs> I was just trying to take a throw at the football, the football, and it didn't pay off. Go on, Alan. Go on, Alan. Go on, Alan. 
<laughs> Come on, Alan. Come on, Alan. Sneaky, this one. Charlie's got this right in there. He's actually becoming very skilled in the sticker department. No lumps, no bumps. Perfect application. And you can get yours from getbackagain.com. Spread the word. Oh my god, a fight. The keeper takes a swig. And then someone from the home side has been sent off. My camera's decided to focus on the net. Cutting edge content here. Come on, Alan. But don't forget the stretch. Look at that. I think there's more than just water in here. Feel free to leave your guesses in the comments below. And goalkeepers, if you're watching, let us know what you put in your bottles. Today, we welcome this line home to the family. The human ruler family. Because, of course, look. Great posture. Straight as a, well, ruler. Dave just threw his banana down there. But it's fine. It's natural. So that will uh, decompose. What? I don't know what was said. But all I know is it's 3-1 to Hallam. And it should be 4 Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's got a Reggie. Oh, he's got a Reggie, isn't he? It's substitution time, but no digital subsports down here, just the plastics. But that's fine. That's fine. You know what? It's time for a walk. We're going to get around the other end where granddads are abusing players. Verbally, that is. It's that time, people. Every non league grand needs a pile of crap. If I didn't feel VIP before, I do now. We've made it under the tiny shelter. Incredible. Incredible. We've seen a lot of Dronfield's keeper. Here's Hallam's. A close up of that corner flag. And then from way downtown. <laughs> <laughs> it's free too. The comeback's on. Surely not. Surely not. Well, one man that's given up on the comeback already is this man here. His substitute is smaller than Charlie. In fact, there's hardly any support on their bench. You've got to beat that rush, in you? I understand. Hallam bench, however, stacked. Absolutely stacked. And with that, no late late action. Scoring's free two to Hallam. <laughs> That might have been the biggest cheer of the day, which signals obviously we can't go home. You're right, mate. Fantastic. I enjoyed that. Thank you, Dronfield Town, for not having a crap pitch. Or more like one that doesn't get waterlogged. Oh, yeah, it's good drainage here. Good drainage. Anyway, as we make our way out of here, should we rate this experience? I think we should. Let's. Oh, really? Let's start off with atmosphere. It was never going to be amazing, was it? We did hear a little bit from Hallam, but overall, it wasn't bouncing. One and a half. Facilities. Got to think about the level that we're at. It's always relative. Remember that, people. And to be fair, it's not a bad little ground. Shame we can't get around the far side. But I like the feeling of walking down to a pitch. That's quite cool. Top marks for effort on the shelter, for sure. Keep the kids entertained on the mini pitch. And big wooden tables, which are definitely used for something else, but I can't remember. But I'm sure the comments are going to be flooded with it. Facilities, three and a half stars. Like it. Food and drink, too cold for the ice lolly, wasn't it? So it was a steak pie and cheesy chips to share. The steak pie, we had some good pies up north. This one didn't really wow me. And then the cheesy chips, again, no wow factor. Just nice, nice pie, nice chips. The bovril was okay. The hot chocolate was okay. Everything was all right. We'll go with three, three stars. Finally, we're talking cost. Isn't it obvious? Five pounds to get in. Five pound fifty spent on food and drink. Add another quid for the hot chocolate. Add a pound for the raffle. And don't forget the bobble hat. Ten pound is twenty-two pound fifty spent, and I come away with something I can keep. Memories and a bobble hat. Brilliant. Five stars, which gives non-league step six side Drumfield Town a total of thirteen stars, and that sandwiches you nicely between Premier League side West Ham United and Brentwood Town in the non-league. Keep doing what you're doing. So as we leave the ground, it wasn't what we was expecting today. But it's nice to drop down even lower in the pyramid and show you what's going on. Now, I did actually put a photo of the football at the football up in the end. And of course, you all commented daring me to put you in the video. Hopefully, you see your comment. One of those comments actually dared me to put Chili Con Carne in the video. Already done it, mate. Already done it. But as we get the hell out of here and drive three hours south, I've just realised that raffle. We've had problems with raffles in the past. Football clubs, you've got to announce these things. Otherwise, no one's going to know. And if you did announce it, I didn't hear it. Did I check on Twitter? Of course I did. Was it on Twitter? No, it wasn't. Did I ask on Twitter? Yes, I did. Was I aired? Absolutely. It makes me want to set up Rafflegate Industries Limited, where we tackle football clubs that take money but don't announce the raffle winner. I'm sure for the most part, it's a communication error. But we must help football clubs get better at raffles. We must. We must. We absolutely must. Anyway, I've got a three-hour drive home to turn that idea in my head into a solid one. In the meantime, for you guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. We always ask for 10,000 likes. It's not happened for a while. Please support the channel. It helps us more than you know, so if you could drop a like, that would be much appreciated. If you enjoy this content as well, make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with future videos. Click the bell to be notified when a new video is out. And if you can't wait for that long, maybe have a binge through the On The Road playlist. The link is in the description below. So that's it, people. My name's Smith. This is On The Road. 100 grounds done. And on to the next one. On the way home, I got a KFC. Just thought I'd let you know that.